You know, it was almost a year ago that I ended up picking up the NES Classic. I don't think I ever actually made a proper video on this channel about it, and honestly, hasn't got a whole lot of use. It came with 30 games on it, and my family and I, we absolutely loved it first off. Then eventually I did hack it. I think it's got seven or 800 games on it at this point. This thing was so easy to just load other games onto. Unfortunately, it's completely gone now. You can't get your hands on one. So this is basically just sort of going to sit on my shelf, occasionally being played at gatherings and whatnot. But as you are probably aware, and as you can tell from the title, Nintendo released another of these classic systems recently, and I managed to get my hands on the very last one where I live. They have been coming back in stock occasionally. I just managed to put my name on the list at GameStop, and the manager gave me a call when it came in, and I got the very last one, like I said. So here we have the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition, and you can see over here some of the games that do come preloaded on it. Before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and stop about half the comments here. I understand that you can get the exact same thing by taking a Raspberry Pi and loading ROMs and stuff onto it. That's not why you do something like this, and the legality of it, especially in the US here, not really all that legal, so not something that I'm interested in. If that's what you want to do, by all means, it just doesn't work for me. Having something like this that was relatively reasonably priced, I'm okay with. This did retail for 80 bucks, which again, is kinda high for what it is, but as compared to the NES Classic, this one does actually come with two controllers, although if they have the same kind of cables as the one that came with the NES Classic, I'm probably going to try to find wireless controllers, because the cables that came with the NES Classic were just way, way too short. Flip it over here on the back, you can see all the games that do come pre-installed on it. Obviously things like Super Mario World, Zelda A Link to the Past, Star Fox, just some of the bigger titles that people were really into to and I'm going to go ahead and admit it, I didn't actually own an SNES. My cousins had one, so anytime I'd go visit them, I'd play theirs. I had the original Nintendo, and then I think I skipped ahead to the Sega Genesis. So this will be kind of a first for me. I cannot wait any longer. Let's go ahead and open the box. Doing this in kind of a rush because my kid's going to be getting off the bus here very shortly. I've had it sitting here in the box for a couple of days now waiting to make this video, and he's reminded me he desperately wants to play this as well. So inside of the box. You get a little warranty and user guide, some startup instructions, which is also a little poster for all of the games on it. You get a Nintendo branded USB power brick. Output is 5 volt at 1.5 amps. What I can only assume is the console itself, a micro USB cable, an HDMI cable, and the two controllers. And it's been a few years, but this controller definitely takes me back. Just like all the other Nintendo controllers of the past, very well built, feels very nice in the hands. And actually the connector on this looks almost identical to the wireless connector from my NES classic controller, so maybe they're interchangeable. I haven't read enough to really know that. Let's see how long this cable is. I'd say it's probably a little bit longer than the one on the NES Classic, but it's it's not much longer, unfortunately. Luckily, you should be able to get extension cables for this or a wireless controller. Anyway, last but hopefully not least is the console itself, and that definitely takes you way back. Oh, that's great. So I guess if you just want to set this on a shelf and use it as a display piece, you can do that. You know, you've got your power switch, your reset button, the eject button that doesn't do anything, it's not actually a button, the slot where your cartridge would have gone, here's where your controllers would have plugged in on the original, but there's a couple little finger holes under here, you can just kind of slide it like that, and that's where your game controllers are actually going to plug in. Looks to be a status LED here on the front, and then on the back, DC in in the form of micro USB and HDMI out does have some rubber feet on the bottom to keep it from sliding about. And as you can see on the very bottom here, it mentions Nintendo Super NES Control Deck. There's the model number. And just in terms of sheer size comparison, this is just a little bit shorter than the NES Classic, about the same width and about the same depth. Very similar in terms of size and shape. The NES Classic is just a little bit taller because the original NES was quite a bit taller. And I think without any further ado, I probably ought to go ahead, hook this thing up, get all the controllers and cables and everything unwrapped so when my son gets home, we can start playing. And quite a few minutes later, I attempted, attempted pretty wholeheartedly to capture the screen of the Super Nintendo. I was able to see what it was showing, but it was coming through at 480p and there was no audio. So there's some sort of HDCP copy protection, as you would probably expect. And I'm not sure if I ever actually tried doing that with the NES Classic or not. So if you have used this before, if you know a way to capture the screen with audio and everything on this perfectly, let me know. I'm using the Elgato Game Capture HD, capable of 1080 P60, it's just not working properly, but the little bit I was able to capture here, you can see the games that are actually pre-installed on it. Now, as I have already read about the device, it's very easy to hack and put more games on it, tons and tons of games, so I might do that eventually. You can also go up to the top to go through some of the other menus. You can, just like the NES Classic, make it CRT filtered or pixel perfect. 
You can add all these really neat frames around it because all the games are really designed for 4x3 screens so you've got to have something to block it in. And just like the NES Classic you can also go down and save states of whatever game you're playing so you can just jump right back into the action. And then in terms of the actual gameplay itself, I guess what I'll do is I'll just set up a camera and point it at the screen. Maybe I'll wait for that until my kid gets home though. And we're back. This is my little one. This is Duncan. This is actually the second time we've tried this. So first time around, for whatever reason, the camera stopped recording. That's okay. But what we did before, we went through and played a little bit of Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I guess we'll go through and try that again. See if I can actually win this time. You may have missed it. <laughs> I, I got my butt handed to me. <laughs> I I punched him like 20 times. Mm -hmm. We'll go to normal, go to versus battle, and you can pick whoever you want to be. I'm going to be E Honda. Um, I'm going to I be. I was Blanca last time, and I, I got my butt handed to me by Dalsim. That's who I'm going to be this time. Ready? Get punched. Ow, you hurt. You hurt really bad. Uh oh. <laughs> Ow, you hurt so much! Oh, I got him once! Of course, I got him once last time, and then he... Ah. Yeah. Ah. I gotta stay away. Get, get punched. <laughs> oh, no. Get punched. No, no, in the corner. <laughs> Stop. It's been too many years. Oh, oh he got me. Oh, he did get me. <laughs> Funny. Final round. I back up. This is what I do. Punch, punch, punch until you're in a corner. Punch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't. <laughs> you didn't give me a head. No. Oh. Oh, I won. you got me. I won just barely. Yep. Uh, yeah. All right, let's move on to the next game before both the cameras cut out. <laughs> and the one we started to try again when I noticed that the camera wasn't recording is Super Mario Kart. We both played it on the Switch. And uh, this is, it's not going to be quite the same thing. So we'll give it a shot. All right, you ready? I don't know how to race. <laughs> it's, it's the uh, B button, this one. Oh, oh no. Get him. Ha ah, got Mario. I'm seventh place and you're in fourth. I'm fourth currently. Because I didn't have a clue what button it was to, to start racing. Hey, I'm in first place somehow. I'm in seventh. Oh no, Sixth. Grass. Second place. First place. Come here, Mario. I'm cheating. I've played before. It's been years, but, you know. Oh no! He came out right at the... Oh no, final lap. I'm like... Go. Yeah, buddy! I'm, I'm still in fifth. That's okay, keep going. Sixth. Fifth. Fourth. Fourth. Five. There you go, there you go! Uh, yes! Fourth place! So anyway, we could go on and on for a long time playing this. There are... There's only a few games on this, just out of the box. But like I said before, you can load stuff to it after the fact. So if you want to see more about this, let me know. But Nintendo's kind of weird about their copyright stuff, so I'm going to avoid that if I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to try to pick one of these up, they're really, really hard to find. You're going to have to go to a, a GameStop or something or just be really quick uh, with a site like nowinstock.net. I'll put some links to where you can try to find them, things like Best Buy and Amazon and whatnot. But other than that, I think we're going to get back to playing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that little like button if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos come out. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.